Hello Scorpio and welcome to your monthly reading. This is a intuitive, quick and general reading for the month of April. Scorpio, new beginnings, um, rewards, um, new feelings, new emotions, compassion, um, bottling up some feelings, maybe some secretive energy to holding some things back. You do have a tower with your, um, I want to say, income, earned income, health, a lot of changes there, and decisions and choices and trying to deal with things that may have hurt you, where you feel hurt and decisions. All right. This could be a busy month for you. Busy, 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 busy. You could be excited moving forward with some plans, making some plans for the future. These can be travel plans. You have some choices and decisions to make. The first couple of weeks, you could be kind of dealing with um, some kind of a loss or recovery or feeling more looking at uh, what you have, what you don't have and what you, instead of what you do have. So I do feel that kind of energy as well. Um, it's an important month to know your intentions. Your intentions are coming up very strong here. You could be very reactive. You could be your own worst enemy. This is a directive force of destruction and defense, though. So be careful of that energy as well. You could be dealing with con uh, conflict. Um, this is your gut feeling, too. And you're kind of like going with your gut feeling. There is eroticism here. This is like erotic energy, too. Primal energy is showing up. Um, something is regenerating this month for you. You are on a tendency towards change here. Okay? But know your intentions. Expect some sudden changes, turn of events. Be warned of your surroundings. Taking back your power, you definitely are. You will separate from someone. Everything that you had in plan or mind is not going to turn out the way you thought it'll be. You can be dealing with a fire sign too. This is like a Sagittarius and a Scorpio. I see also if you're single, you could be flirting, um, dating, mingling. So I'm seeing that kind of energy. Trust your intuition. Also here, you could have emotional attachments and you're holding yourself back somehow. Feeling stuck. I see blessings coming your way. Expect the unexpected. Definitely seeing that there is a certain turn of events here. It can be connected to love and I also see spiritual growth. Your affection and your deep caring is coming into focus here too. A lot of spiritual growth. Your dreams, your night dreams, when you dream at night, they can be prophetic. And they can be connected to some past situations or family matters, family. I don't know. There's a concern there too. So I do feel that energy. So a lot of uh, family and home matters is showing up too and a connection to the past. You have the, so far from all the readings, you have the power of manifestation this month. So keep things very positive. And it's kind of asking you to manifest things that you need to step out of your comfort zone. I see you stepping into new experiences. This is new things too that maybe you have never done before or you've changed things up and you're kind of taking a leap of faith and it's going to be something of value. It's a new beginning. Some of you have already manifested this and you don't even realize it, you know? If you want to change and you kept saying you didn't like something, well, here's the universe is bringing you change. Know your intentions this month. Very important to love is definitely in focus here. There is something definitely changing here as well. And follow your intuition. I definitely see blessings and spiritual growth. Your dreams are important, but manifestation is very high as well. Okay, um, Scorpio, I hope you have a fabulous month and bye for now.